Ben Jenkins would say. Uh, yeah, open on the three shot and then just mm -hmm. stay on them. If you want to vary that two shot, in other words, you know, if you want to go in a little and then come back, that's okay, but just hold the two shot. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, I don't know what you could, how much latitude you have to vary that shot. Anyway, stay, stay on them till the end then. Pull back Those for three shot. Five, four, three, two. Well, Marie and Michael, Michael, you'll have to forgive me just a oh, second sure. while I, I say hello <laughs> to this Oklahoman who was, who was raised, though, in Texas. Fellow Texan, yeah. Yes, so now it's fellow Texan. And, <laughs> it's true. And you went to Baylor. I did. Paul Baker was there, and that's the reason I went. And then I, went, I followed him to the Dallas Theater Center and spent a year, and then I to California. What, do you remember anything you did at the Theater Center? I remember every minute of it, yes. <laughs> what, what did you do? Uh, well, all the, all the, oh, you mean plays? Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Well, yes, I was Crystal Allen and the women. I was far too young for the uh. role. And uh, <laughs> let's see, we did a new play uh, called Sister. And I'm about to embarrass myself because I can't call the playwright's name to mind. But he is, he's at the theater center. And I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not right be. There, let's right. not be. We won't dwell on it then. And I worked in the public relations department, and uh, and all. If you're at the theater center, you're there to get an education, a well-rounded education. So we did everything. Made the costumes and the sets. I shall tell Paul Baker that we had a visit when I see him. <laughs> next. Oh, please do. I shall. He calls me girl. Of course, he calls everybody girl. But that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to remember a name that way. <laughs> but I remember him very fondly. Let's talk about Search for Tomorrow and let's talk about daytime dramas because in my lifetime I have never known anything to be so in as daytime dramas. Yeah, Michael, what, what is this sudden interest? I don't know. In the past couple of years, I'd say in the past three years, it's become very, very popular. I think a lot of it has to do with, with the popularity now with college kids, uh, with, with a younger audience. It used to mainly be for an, sort of an older audience. Now it's male, female, and a lot of younger people. And I think that's what's really brought up the ratings a lot. And also there's been a, a shift in viewing habits of, from nighttime and cable and, and daytime and all different things. So the whole TV industry is sort of changing around and daytime seems to be winning out right now. Well, we've always been terribly popular, except that people wouldn't admit it. Yes, I think that's what it is, is that <laughs> They didn't want people to know people, they were watching television in the daytime. Yeah, and now media has realized that, that there is a huge, huge audience. audience. <laughs> we have 30 million viewers. Yeah. Do you people feel more like stars and celebrities now than you ever have in the past? Oh, I... No. I don't necessarily, and people ask that a lot. I just look at it like a job, and, you know, I go home, I put on... A, you know, a, We're not a pampered either. Right. We are not privileged, pampered people. Yeah, we it's work not very as hard. glorious as it seems. Yeah. You really, whatever, yeah. work very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that I noticed, because in uh, above my desk in the newsroom are monitors yeah. for all the networks, and it is really incredible. Sometimes I'll look up there. We don't have the audio channels up, mm -hmm. but I'll look up there, and every channel has a daytime drama, mm -hmm. and every channel has people in bed. Yes. <laughs> They're all, they'll all be in bed one day. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be, yes, six hours of bed scenes. No, not necessarily. I think our show, I, I was on another network for a while. Some networks really push the bed and the flesh and all that. Search doesn't really. It really mm -hmm. focuses more on problems and issues the and relationships, relationships things that I think that are a little more interesting than just the easy, fast sex violence sort of thing. Oh, I thought you meant getting up and going, oh, I see what you're talking about. You're talking about that. I'm serious talking about that bad. stuff. Oh, serious Se bad. Real okay. bad. I thought you meant, there are shows that you watch uh, occasionally, and you'll see everyone getting up. And it's, oh, another person's getting up. Oh, look, they're getting up, too. Uh, oh, see. look, they sleep in pajamas. You know? <laughs> and the whole show, is, it's in the morning, in the daytime, and on the, on the, in the script. And the whole show is waking up and getting up. And it's fascinating right. to watch the little patterns. No, I'm talking You're about, talking about yeah. love sex. scenes. You mean, serious bed. Right. Serious bed, yes, nighttime bed. Or, right. well, I guess, afternoon bed. Oh, whatever, <laughs> love in the afternoon. Yes. Or yeah. yes. Are those scenes uncomfortable for the actors uh, to, to play? Uh. It depends on how it's handled. Or Some who you're doing them with. Doing them. <laughs> but it's awfully difficult to feel uh, salacious. When you have 25 people standing around mm. the room, slapping cables on the floor, and... Uh, painting the last minute little touch up on the set and mm -hmm. the three cameras 
and the microphone man and the, the, people, right. the helpers to move all this heavy equipment. Yeah. What you don't realize when, you know, when people watch it, you just see a very tight shot of a bed and two people kissing. There are 50 people <laughs> standing around watching you. I mean, literally three feet away with cameras zooming down your <laughs> nose and it's, an, it's very strange, really. So you have to get used to all that. Mm -hmm. y yes, it's uncomfortable. Some of the method actors, uh, do they, you know, do them in the buff? Or does everybody wear clothes? Well, they're crazy if they do. Who wants a grip to look at your boobies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We're all friends here, Marie. No, d d d as far as you know, does anybody ever do them? No, naked? I don't know anybody that stupid. Well, I have known of an occasion. Really? Well, it all depends. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. What do you wear <laughs> under the cover? You mean, oh, they all wear shorts, don't they? Yeah. I Okay, and uh, you had another question? <laughs> <laughs> who? I want to know who this is. <laughs> Somebody on your show, Michael? Uh, one time on my other show, yeah. Who was I'm it? blushing now. I think I want to move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, Marie, you take over. You're having more luck than I am. <laughs> I'll get it out of you later. <laughs> Hey, you two are both delightful, Thank and what I do have one last question, and that is, since the move to NBC, mm -hmm. uh, is it better for you all, or not any different, or what? Well, it's very funny. We were renting the space at CBS to be produced, so right. everything changed and nothing changed. Right. We're still in CBS studios until next week, and then we move to our own. But the NBC personnel and the people in the, you know, the, the network mm -hmm. people are... I can't believe how nice no, they they've are. They've been very, very, very good to us. Yeah, they've been great. Was a good move for you all? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You're a couple of neat people. I've enjoyed the visit very oh, much. Thank Thanks you very much. Thank you. Who was that? <laughs>